Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Boeing X-37B program wins the Collier Trophy. The CAP marks its fourth consecutive year with over 100 sings. And Flyers Rights is petitioning the DOT to mandate masks for all air travel. I'm Sophie Herlock. The X-37B autonomous space plane has won the prestigious Robert J. Collier Trophy for advancing technology that pushes the boundaries of flight and space exploration. Designed and built by Boeing, operated in partnership with the U.S. Space Force, and managed by the U.S. Air Force Rapid Capabilities Office, the X-37B is designed to carry experiments into orbit and bring them back down to Earth for evaluation. The space plane has flown a total of six missions since 2010, and recently set a new 780-day on-orbit endurance record, completing an overflight of the United States before making a landing at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. The X-37B prevailed over a diverse group of nine finalists, which included the latest iteration of the Airborne Collision Avoidance System team, the updated Hubble Space Telescope, and Project Heaviside, a high-performance electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle, which aims to eventually free people from traffic. The Collier Trophy has been awarded annually since 1911, and is one of the most prominent accolades in aviation. Previous winners include Orville Wright, Howard Hughes, as well as the Apollo 11 lunar landing team. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher, or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Affordable and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. Offering excellent fuel efficiency and a durable composite design, the Alpha Trainer can be operated from virtually anywhere. Whether you're a first-time aircraft owner, assembling a fleet, or running a flight school, the Light Sport Alpha Trainer from Pipistrel is a dynamic option. Learn more about what the Pipistrel Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrel-usa.com. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo Power Plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back, it's time for today's trip around the patch. NASA and SpaceX are targeting no earlier than October 23rd for the first operational flight with astronauts of the Crew Dragon spacecraft and Falcon 9 rocket to the International Space Station as part of the agency's commercial crew program. The launch date was chosen to accommodate spacecraft traffic for the upcoming Soyuz crew rotation and to best meet the needs of the ISS. NASA's SpaceX Crew-1 mission will be the first of regular rotational missions to the space station following completion of NASA certification. Radiant Instruments has released its new line of inexpensive daylight readable LED-based instruments. Designed to run off of standard 12 volts, this new line of instruments is thin and lightweight, ideal for installation in experimental and ultralight aircraft. The LED instruments are offered in two physical sizes, round which is designed to fit a standard 2 and a quarter inch round cutout, while square is designed to fit flush to instrument panels in an enclosure that is 2 inch square and a quarter inch thick. Recently, Vans Aircraft completed an in-depth review of horsepower limitations for the RV7 and 7A and RV8 and 8A and is now approving the use of Lycoming 210 horsepower IO390A and IO390 EXP119 engines on these models. Vans says since the introduction of the Lycoming IO390A engines, some of their customers have expressed their desire to install this engine on RV7 and RV8 airframes. NASA's Ingenuity Mars helicopter received a checkout and recharge of its power system on August 7th, one week into its near seven-month journey to Mars with the Perseverance rover. This marks the first time the helicopter has been powered up and its batteries have been charged in the space environment. During the eight-hour operation, the performance of the Rotocraft 6 lithium-ion batteries were analyzed as the team brought their charge level up to 35%. The project determined a low charge state is optimal for battery health during the cruise to Mars. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. 
Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at SwiftFuelsAvgas.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. the fourth consecutive fiscal year. The Civil Air Patrol has passed over 100 lives saved, as credited by the Air Force Rescue Coordination Center. The 100th and 101st save occurred back on August 4th, when CAP's National Cell Phone Forensics Team provided the Wyoming Joint Operations Center with a high-priority area to focus search efforts for two lost hikers in Bighorn County. Using cell phone forensics information gathered by the team earlier in the morning, the local searchers found the hikers alive and returned them to safety later that morning. Cell phone forensics account for more than 90% of all CAP saves. CAP totaled 158 saves in fiscal 2018, a new record for lives saved in a fiscal year. And in 2019 and 2017, CAP was credited with 117 and 110 saves. FlyersRights.org has formally submitted a rulemaking petition to the DOT to mandate mask wearing by all persons on planes and at airports. The website has been asking for a mask mandate since March, and many airlines have already begun requiring face masks for all passengers and recommending they put their face mask on as soon as they step foot in the airport. Since late April, the CDC has been recommending the wearing of face masks in public settings, especially when social distancing is hard to maintain. In acknowledgement of this, the DOT published Runway to Recovery in July, allowing airlines and airports to create their own policies in the first few months of the pandemic. However, as air travel requires a close gathering of people from various parts of the country, Flyers Rights is looking for the DOT to make masks more than just a recommendation. Paul Hudson, president of FlyersRights.org, explained air travel is an area where the federal government and DOT have exclusive jurisdiction. DOT understands the benefit of a mask rule, but inexplicably is putting lives in danger by not exercising its authority and responsibility to protect the public and air travel. DOT must implement a mask rule on an emergency basis immediately. And that's it for today's Airborne Unlimited. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to like, subscribe, and to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. For the latest aviation and aerospace news any time of the day, just head over to aero-news.net. I hope you had a great start to your week. I'll see you again on Wednesday.